Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I thought I'd try something today for the 4th of July that I haven't tried before and that is pouring through this fun star that came from the dollar store. And special shout out to Tammy from Pasadena for getting me this Dollar Tree star to pour through. Really appreciate that. Um, I'm using Mixed Media Girl pouring paints, just three colors. I'm using white, primary red, and then Pacific blue. I wanted to go with a nice deep blue for this. I do have this raised up off the canvas by just a little cup. It's a 12 by 12 inch canvas. So I just poured through until I felt like I had enough paint. I did it as a clean pour so that I wouldn't blend the colors too much. I thought it kind of came out looking like a bottle bottom, so I wanted to wreck it and kind of make some petals here. Now at this stage, I thought it needs to be spun out. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I didn't have any double-sided sticky tape, so I tried to make do with some painter's tape. Uh, and as you'll see very shortly, unfortunately, that didn't quite work out as well. But, you know, live and learn and just make it work. <laughs> work with what you have. And I'm definitely, definitely glad that I spun it out. Here's, the, I think, the fun part coming up. <laughs> it's going to go flying off the canvas. Spoiler alert. And here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. Put it back on, spin it a little more gently, and there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, double-sided sticky tape, definitely much, much, much better than this blue painter's tape. Um, and just so you guys know, spinning it out, it just maintains the design way better than tilting it, which is why I decided to go with that. I actually love the white dots in this. That was kind of a little bit of an accident. Um, I wasn't sure on pouring through the star what would be the best way. So instead of just pouring through the middle with the white, I kind of went and poured around. But then I was worried it was going to fall off the cup. So I did the rest just through the middle. But that gave me these really cool white dots which to me kind of resemble the stars on the flag, so I'm not mad at it at all. So after spinning it out and being pretty happy with the design, I just touched up my sides and there we go, voila. And I'm very much in love with this piece. So hopefully you guys are doing some fun 4th of July projects. I really hope that you guys like this one. I love that I maintained the red, white, and blue without getting pink and purple. That's not a very easy task and doing it as a clean pour definitely helps. And I think this kind of has a bottle bottom look but with a firework vibe. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.